and naturally has been reflected in the music world. Just a moment, please. A news flash has just been handed me. Another mysterious explosion has just struck one of the government atomic research buildings, destroying the entire structure and leaving the wreckage a mass of flames. Calling rocket M7. Calling rocket M7. M7 to Baylor, we read you. Your last blast was exactly on target. Fine. It'll take three or four hours to recharge the ray gun. Then we'll be ready for another strike. I'll call the ruler and find out where he wants you to hit next. Yes, Baylor. Target will be the arsenal. After that, radio my ultimatum to the Earth people. Complete surrender or complete annihilation. What's he think we are, guinea pigs? Those bugs don't care whose side you're on. We'll be safe enough. The arsenal is on the outskirts of town. As for the other, roll up your sleeve. <laughs> Mr. Henderson, any word on the research building? Yes, a total loss. What's even more serious, sickness of epidemic proportion is developing in each area hit. Germ warfare. Yes. And the committee is sure this is the ruler's work. That's a safe guess. Look at this. Our detector stations have been checking on the flashes of radioactivity before each blast. And they make a regular pattern. Now, let's extend that pattern. And we end at a point over this city. That would kill millions. But how are they getting through the cosmic dust blanket? It should explode a bomb. My guess is they're using some new kind of atomic ray to blast a hole in the blanket. Then a germ projectile could get through to Earth. Any more reports, Dick? No, it's all quiet. But what possible defense can we set up against germ warfare? In this case, the only defense is a strong offense. We'll use my rocket to attack the attacker. Say, we can do it, too. We've got his position close enough. Be ready in two minutes. Everything's in order, Commando. Good. We're taking off right away. Yes, sir. Jet. Fire pilot. Fire main jet. Fire main jet. be a match for the one we're going after? Probably not. But I'm hoping we can outmaneuver them. Uh, 
out of your 60,000, Commander. We're nearing the dust blanket, Dick. Turn on the dispersal ray. Thank you, Commander. Inhuman, Commando. I didn't think anyone, not even the ruler, would use it. The ruler would use any weapon. His policy is to wipe out the population or weaken them until there's no resistance. Then move in and make slaves of the few left alive. Level off. We'll see what we can pick up. Leveling off. We've made a contact. Swing to 60. 60. What type rocket is it? We can't make it out yet. Switch to the infinity lens. That's good. Are we on the right course? Almost. Battle stations. Looks like he hasn't seen us yet. Left 15. Left 15. Elevate 12. Twelve. On target. Steady. Where's ships after us? Man the ray gun. We'll set up to full charge yet. Two short bursts might be enough to stop him. Hurry! He's firing from a plastic turret. I'll try the freeze ray. The turret's plotted. I can't see to shoot. Maybe we can outspeed him. That did it. He's on the run. Let's close in and finish him quick. Hold it, Dick. I want to try to capture that rocket in one piece. Climb above it. Up 20. He's climbing over us. Must be going to bomb us. There's nothing we can do about it. We can't outrun him. Get me a block of fusing metal, Joan. Yes, sir. As soon as I put his power plant up in commission, get in front of him. We'll take him in tow. All right, Commando. The pile chamber is leaking. Something's wrong. Pressure's going up fast. If it gets over 3,000, it'll blow up. I'll set the power off. That helped. Pressure's going down. Well, what do we do now? 
Just float here in space until the Earth people decide what they want to do next. All right, Joan. Take him a tow. Yes, sir. course. That other rocket must have a magnetic drag ray. Yeah. He'll probably tow us down to Earth. through the dust blanket? Well, I think so. Take the main controls, Joan. Automatic. get into the cosmic dust blanket. We'll soon find out. Land in the usual place, Joan. Yes, Commander. How do you feel about it? Well, it, it is my first solo landing, you know. You'll do all right. Give us a little start before you set the other ship down. Joan, radio Mr. Henderson send some men to take over the rocket. Yes, sir. Tell them we'll try to keep the crew inside until they get here. Oh, there he is, sir. We've been examining the man you captured in that rocket. Did you find out anything? Not much. He admits belonging to the ruler's army, but nothing else. Have you had a chance to examine their rocket ship yet? Yes, and found the antitoxin for the germs they've been using. Oh, splendid. Did you, uh... The drug companies all have samples. The local authorities will have a supply tomorrow, enough to stop the epidemic. That's great news. The best. About the ruler's rocket, there's nothing really unusual about it. It's atomic powered from a uranium pile, much like the ones we use. But this gun is something else. It's much more powerful than any we have. Yeah, it's really something out of this world. Will you, Dick? Sure. Is this the weapon they've been using? Yes, but the important part is in the power chamber. We've analyzed the contents in this power chamber. And we find that its basic reaction comes from the element in this container. It's satyrium, which comes only from one of the moons of Saturn. Do you know the exact location of the deposits? No, but we can find it. 
The atomic rays from this piece of satyrium will react strongly the main body of ore. So we'll use it to make a direction finder to locate the deposit. Good. Do you think the ray guns are being made there? I don't know. The important thing is, satyrium is so highly volatile that it burns itself out in a matter of days. So if we destroy the entire body of ore, the ruler won't be able to recharge his ray guns. How can it be destroyed? We'll explode a bomb loaded with uranium isotopes in the ore. That'll set up a chain reaction and blow up all the satorium in the vein. Yes, it would work that way. Shame to destroy the satorium. But if we do, the ruler won't be able to make any more guns like that one. That's right. So with your permission, we'll leave for Saturn immediately before this sample loses its power. Certainly, Commando. Dead ahead. The satorium indicator is reacting steadily now. Line up the scanner, Joan. Left 15, down 20. Left 15, down 20. What is it, Tandor? There's a rocket headed this way. It's not scheduled. If the rocket ship tries to land, let me know at once. Yes, sir. and plan a radio guide beam for the bomb rocket. Land in that valley just ahead, Dick. Yes, sir. We're practically done. landed in the valley just opposite my position. They'll have to use the cliff road to get to the mine. Pick up the men working on the crusher and set a trap for them. Very well. Keep working. I get this guide beam in the mine entrance, I'll radio you. It'll take the bomb rocket at least 20 seconds to get the mine, so count the seconds for me after it takes off. I'll wait until I hear you call 10 to make sure there's no interference. 10? Well, it's cutting it awfully close, Commando. You better be ready to get out of there in a hurry. I'll be ready.
Joan, I think I found it, but I'm going to make sure before you launch the rocket. Joan. Calling Joan. Yes, Commando. All set. Send the rocket. Right away. Let it go, Dick. should be the end of germ warfare. Yep, but it does seem sort of too bad we had to destroy all that cetarium. <laughs> Just think all the things we could have used it for ourselves. Like what, for instance? Well, like a lot of things. After all, it doesn't have to be used in a ray gun. No, sir. If we could find out how to neutralize the isotopes and control the reactions to formulate a change sequence at minus normal, you'd have a good start. Dick. Can you say that again? Huh? Why? I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs>